Good evening and welcome to the fourth annual PRISM Awards for Photonics Innovation. We have 28 finalists and nine winners that have transformed ideas into innovative products and hopefully revenue and success in the marketplace. So let's start the show. And now to present the final category is a person passionate about supporting entrepreneurs in Australia and beyond for the last 20 years. He began his career as an engineer with a PhD in physics and has been very vigorous with over 100 publications and presentations. He became an inventor with 20 patents protecting numerous commercial products generating over 200 million in revenue. Then he became an entrepreneur raising over $100 million, and more recently, an investor with two $200 million VC funds. He's founded five successful companies in the communications, laser, semiconductor, and medical sectors with, and this is important, solid exits for his investors, including two IPOs generating over $1 billion in value. He writes for several magazines on business engineering and Laser Focus World's entrepreneurial blog and he sits on the boards of six companies. In his spare time, he works as managing director at Southern Cross Venture Partners based in Silicon Valley, as well as the new $200 million renewable energy fund partnered with SoftBank in China. Please welcome me, uh, please join me in welcoming to the stage, Larry Marshall. Thank you, it's a great honor to be here tonight. <clears throat> so uh, I've founded and run a number of companies um, through at least four recessions and six fairly major financial crises and a lot of very nervous investors. Every one of the companies uh, came within a hair's breadth of bankruptcy. Some of them technically went bankrupt before we were able to turn them around and there's a few interesting stories about how we made payroll on many of them when we didn't have the cash. Can I ask your indulgence for all of the nominees to stand, please? All of the nominees tonight to stand. As an immigrant to this great country, my observation in each of those four recessions and each of those five companies and these near-death experiences is that every time our teams were able to invent our way out. We didn't succeed on plan A or B or C, sometimes not even on plan D, but we didn't give up. We invented our way out. All of you here will reinvent America every time there's been a major recession, a major financial catastrophe here. America dusts herself off and reinvents herself and comes out stronger and better than before. This is why people like me, immigrants, come to live in this great country. So my hat's off to all of you for having the courage and the conviction and the drive to stick with it, to be innovative, to create these wonderful products and wonderful inventions and help drive this great economy. And actually thinking about it, SPIE is like a startup. The growth of SPIE over the last 10 years, the growth of this conference over the last 10 years, starting in San Jose, a very, very small conference, and suddenly dominating the Moscone Center, till SPIE is bigger than Macworld, is remarkable. <laughs> Just one other comment. I'm basically a PhD in physics, I'm a techie, an inventor. Um, it took me a long time to learn the importance of the application of the technology. I was lucky enough to get an ophthalmic company, Iridex, public back in 96. And although the genesis of that company was the first solid state visible semiconductor laser, the most satisfying moment of that company was a product that not many people remember. Um, it was a product that treated a disease called um, retinopathy of prematurity. If anyone's had a child more than five weeks premature, um, they'll be born clinically blind. And the standard of care for 25 years for that child was to physically freeze their eyeball with a cryoprobe, liquid nitrogen. 
And if you've ever seen the procedure, it's like something from the Dark Ages and the child's head swells up and they get contusions, their heart stops beating, they have to be resuscitated, it's really bad. Um, when you do that treatment with a laser, which was thought to be impossible until diode lasers and, and nonlinear converters could get, get the right wavelengths and pulse formats, when you do that same treatment with a laser, um, the child doesn't even know that it's going on. Um, and I'll never forget showing the photo at the first medical conference of I treated with cryo, I treated with laser, and in nine months we wiped out cryotherapy as the standard of care and replaced it with lasers. And I'm pleased to say that tonight's finalist in the industrial laser category learned the importance of applications a lot quicker than I did. Let's uh, take a look at the finalists. sealed. And the winner is Amplitude Systems. Good evening, everyone. I'm Eric Motet with Amplitude Systems. Uh, when I started the company 10 years ago, a great funny joke was putting femtosecond laser and industrial in the same sentence. Uh, Ultra-fast lasers have gone a long way, and there are a couple group of people that uh, are responsible for this. Uh, first, I'd like to thank some of my colleagues at Amplitude, uh, with whom I've spent probably the best 10 years of my uh, professional life and uh, with whom I'd be delighted to spend the next 10 months. Uh, second, I'd like to thank my, uh, our colleagues in the laser industry. There are probably not that many, but probably half a dozen companies uh, that I encourage you to locate tomorrow on the, on the trade show floor. And it's a group of individuals that we uh, got to know over the years, and it's a great privilege to compete against them. Uh, and finally, I would like to thank all of you who are so passionate about such interesting things as photon, lasers, and detectors. And thank you all, thank you very much for caring about the real stuff. Thank you again. <laughs> <laughs>